Have you ever looked at the form submissions on your page and thought that's not accurate because there's a lot of test data in there? Well, now you can delete form submissions right inside of HubSpot, all hubs, all tiers, and that will affect and actually impact the ability to more accurately reflect on that form submission conversion data. Let's dive in and take a look. Okay, here we have an example of a newsletter signup form, and this is one that was featured in the HubSpot product updates, but we've got this newsletter signup form here and we've got three contacts that submitted it. So let's pretend that David and Jimmy are the folks that are on my team that have actually submitted this as a test submission. We see this all the time when we're doing our webinar setup. We actually have two folks on our team that always test that workflow, test the form. So that would actually show up here. Well, when we look at the conversion data, you'll see that we have three form views three submissions and 100% conversion rate. That's usually not gonna be the case. And especially as we roll this out, those initial three conversions are going to mess up the rest of our conversion data. So now we've got the ability for you to go and actually select the folks, just like you do on like a view of contacts or, um, or workflows or whatever, we've got these little check boxes. And we're going to check David and Jimmy and we're going to actually delete them out from the form submission. It's going to ask us if we want to confirm those two uh, deleting submissions. And then what we've got left is this one here at the bottom. And that now accurately shows one submission. We got rid of the two submissions. And then as you can see here, we've actually got three form views and we've got a 33% conversion rate and one submission. So that more accurately reflects because we really only have one true submission. The other two are going to be the testers. So what that looks like then long-term is you also will see this in your responses in the analyze tab, you'll be able to see that this truly reflects the actual submissions that were on that form and not the test data. Now, why is this important? Well, again, one of the biggest things is removing that test data. You may also want to remove data that you know happens to be a, a spam submission. Now, keep in mind that when you delete form submissions, you're only deleting the form submission. You're not deleting the contact or the company that comes along with that. So I think that's also like in the past, you may have actually used a testy tester sim was sometimes the way that we would put form submissions through and then we delete that contact. Now we can just use our same contact and delete the form submission. But if you have a spam submission, you may want to also delete that contact or, or company that's that's created as a result. One other quick thing is the permissions to delete form submissions as at the super admin level by default. If you don't have permissions at the other levels, you may want to contact your super admin to see what you need to do. For more tips, tricks, and how to's, hit that subscribe button for more HubSpot hacks. And let us know if there's a topic you'd like us to cover in the future. Always on top of these HubSpot product updates as it continues to make the platform easier to use. And we want to bring that to you here on our channel.